basically the practical solid geometry deals with the representation of points lines planes solids and flat surfaces in such a manner that their relative positions and true forms can be accurately defined the meaning of this projection is we are going to observe an object and this object how we have to represent to others like basically an engineer has to visualize in his mind that how an object look without actually having an object in most of the cases the engineers has to visualize it because he don't have the real visual of that particular thing which he is going to develop so in the sense he need to be construct so let me take a simple example here and explain a person is going to see an object here and this object views are going to be fall on the one particular plane any plane let let's say some kind of a distance will be there from this particular object to this particular plane and from human is also trying to view at certain distance because if the object is very small he can make that particular object very close to his eye since the object is somewhat bigger he cannot be able to visualize it properly whenever he is holding near to the eyes so it is having some certain distance let's let's assume certain certain distance between and here the object inferences are going to be fall on the plane of projection so once he tries to visualize so he will try to look with one particular corner so this one particular corner this corner this corner and similarly this corner so automatically if i try to join a line i will get a the same square shape on one particular plane and this is called as a view basically any view since he is seeing from the front side i can term it as a front view okay see if suppose he is seeing from the top surface that is from the top he is trying to visualize the person is trying to visualize so then we, we may term it as a top view if the same engineer he is going to visualize from the side we will term it as a side view and here if you try to observe these viewing lines are called projectors and this is an object and this is a plane of projection and this one is a view which he is going to see so let me go with uh, explanation with respect to the quadrants okay so basically in the geometry and all we have studied that uh, basically we will have four coordinates each coordinate will have a 90 degrees uh, from uh, deviations like from 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 270 to 360 1 2 3 and four quadrants we are having so this is the first quadrant basically we are going to observe similarly the second coordinate also we can visualize in this side okay third coordinate and fourth quadrant we can visualize like this a person is going to see here if he is seeing from this surface we will try to term it as a top view if he is seeing from the front surface since the person is here is uh, we will term this one as a front view okay and here we are having two particular things which we are which we should be very very thorough with this one this surface this surface is horizontal to the axis of earth that's why we will try to term it as a horizontal plane and this one is uh, uh, vertical base so we will try to term it as a vertical plane okay so vp and hp horizontal plane and vertical plane next we can represent this one like this first coordinate second coordinate third coordinate and fourth coordinate on the axis see since this is a 3d view three dimensional view and here we are seeing a 2d view so most of the engineer has to visualize first the things in on to a paper so whenever a paper is going to be considered we have to represent only in the 2d okay even the 3d objects also in the modeling case we will try to first develop in the 2d then we will try to go for extension with respect to 3d next so basically there are two projection methods which are used one is the perspective method the other one is a parallel method the example which we have seen in the starting so this is a perspective so perspective view consisting of the originating of the lines from one particular point and it is going with respect to some particular angle this is going to be termed as a perspective view 
and the second one is a parallel view in the parallel view what happens is for an any object a perpendicular line is going to be draw to this object in a parallel way from with respect to the human eye so again i am saying if, if a line is going to be draw with respect to human eye parallel to the object when we are coming to the object this line will be perpendicular to the object okay since we are representing from the person conception that is from the human conception we are trying to term it as a parallel so the other name for this one is orthogonal okay orthogonal means what perpendicular to that particular object and whatever the projections which we are seeing here these projectors are going to be plane on the top surface and here we will get a view whatever this particular uh, blue color line is there this is called as a front view of this particular object next difference between this perspective and parallel view so distance from the observer to the object is finite so here this this distance is uh, finite and here the distance from the object to, uh, uh, object to the observer is infinite we can take any number of line because at any distance if we try to see it will be looking like a we have to draw a parallel line but in the perspective it will be a finite distance projection lines are not parallel as i am saying that it is going to rise from a corner point and here it the projection lines are parallel to each other and mimic with the human eyes so it is going to exactly look like uh, like what the human is going to be look it is going to mimicking it and here it is less realistic because a human eyes will have uh, a 360 degrees conception i can say but here we have to be very realistic that we have to go and check that particular object in a parallel way and it is difficult to draw because the lines and all the projections and all it will be vary from size to size because we are seeing smaller size but the projection may be bigger size so it will be vary from size to size but in the parallel that is orthogonal it is very easy to draw ortho means straight right angles straight right angles and the graphics which are drawn whatever the graphic if i said the ortho graphic ortho is a straight line graphic is a drawn and the projection is forward through and simply the definition talks about through forward drawn at a right angles so seeing the object forward and drawing the object which it is going to be viewer by the person and the view we are going to be represent at a right angles then that is called as an orthographic projection it's a technique which can able to produce either pictorial drawings that show all three dimensional objects of an object in one view or multiple views that show only two dimensions of an object in a single view so we will in further uh, the, this orthographic projections we will try to have so what is the views which are going to be drawn? basically orthographic or multi view projection is also another name for this orthographic as we have discussed earlier also parallel is also one of the name for this orthographic projections so here the view of that particular object is isometric isometric indicates that it is going at an angle of uh, like uh, say 30 30 degrees we, we are going to represent and oblique oblique is the correct view that the view which we are going to be represent and this is the multi view in the two cases if you try to observe we are we can able to see the object in a three dimensional but in the multi view we will see the object only in the two dimensional okay so the views will be front view top view side views will be there that we will be discuss in the next classes see this is an object so this particular part whatever the part is there this particular part is an object which we are trying to see here okay so this is an object object which i am trying to view so this is my viewing direction this is my viewing direction as i have said and this plane is called as a vertical plane this plane is called as a vertical plane and this plane is called as an horizontal plane and supporting plane is called as an auxiliary vertical plane or the other name for this one is also called as a profile plane some some of the persons they will represent it as a profile plane or side view plane okay there are multiple numbers but in general we will consider it as auxiliary vertical plane and here if you try to observe from uh, from your side if the if the person is uh, standing here if the person is standing here and he is saying here he can able to see this side this one this one this one this one this one and this one so whatever the things which i am uh, giving in the red color this view can he can to see 
so that is going to be represent as a front view since i have to draw a parallel line if the same person is seeing from the top surface so he can able to see this face he can able to see this face two faces so that is what it has been represented two faces they have drawn next if a person is seeing from this side if the person is here he is seeing seeing from the left side the projection will be fall on the right side if he is seeing from the right side the projection will be fall on the left side so basically we will try to term for now we will try to term it as a side view here we can able to see this face as well as this face so that's why it has been represented as a side view in this way okay